Hi, y'all. I'm Jeff. And I'm Becky. And together we're a cruising good time. Today we're going to compare the drink bundle packages for several major cruise lines. So a few assumptions for today's video. One is that it's a seven-day cruise and we're using a standard balcony as a basis for all the costs. We are only going to look at bundle or combo type packages. These are things that include a drink package and a Wi-Fi and gratuity, maybe dining, that sort of thing. Every cruise line offers a simple drink package. We're not going to get into those on this video. On the slides that will be coming up, we have the value of the packages. And that value is derived from looking at the cruise line, and they tell us what the value is of the drink package or the Wi-Fi package, etc. It's not based on the number of drinks that you will consume. At the end of the video, we'll have links to our videos that examine the break-even point of the Princess Plus and Princess Premium packages based on a number of drinks and on the number of meals that you need to consume. So we're going to look at several different cruise lines today. Some of these, such as RCCL and Carnival, only offer what we call a simple drink package and not a combination package. So we're not going to be focusing on those today. And at the other end of the spectrum, they all included luxury type cruise lines such as Seaborne and Regent where everything's included. There's no sense in examining those as well because, well, everything's included. That leaves us in the middle right here where we have several cruise lines that offer what I would call a combo package deal. We'll be focusing on Princess, Norwegian, Holland America, and Celebrity today. So the first package we're going to look at is Princess Plus by Princess Cruise Lines. In this case, the gratuities are included. The drink package is included, which includes 15 drinks per day. The Wi-Fi is included. You get two casual dinings. You get two premium desserts per day. You get access to the juice bar. And you get two exercise classes for the cruise. The cost of that is $60 per day per person, which works out to be $420 total for a seven-day cruise. For the value, as I mentioned earlier, value here for the drink is the total value that Princess says her drink package is worth, not the number of drinks that you would consume. We also made some assumptions down here based on premium desserts, the juice bar, and exercise class that you would get two premium desserts throughout the week, a couple of glasses of juice, and attend one exercise class for that value. The total value is $850. So the savings by buying the Princess Plus package is $430 per uh, what Princess advertises on their website. The next cruise line we're going to look at is the Have It All package by Holland America Line. Now this one, we, I included a few things that they had on, included on a booking special that they have. They kind of turn these on or off, it seems like, as a uh, year goes around. So in this case... It does include the gratuities as part of a special they're offering. That's what says special. 15 drinks per day, includes Wi-Fi. You get one specialty dining on it, and you get a $100 shore excursion credit with this. So the cost on it is $50 per day. So you'd pay $350 for an entire seven-day cruise. The value sums up to be a little over $800. So the savings would be $456 based on information at the Hall in America website. The next one is NCL. They have a program called Free at Sea. This is largely also done at booking, similar to what HAL does, and it also fluctuates throughout the year on what they include. Now, according to the website, NCL never has gratuities included, so there's no charge for that. The Free at Sea includes unlimited drinks, the 150 minutes on a Wi-Fi, so it's not unlimited Wi-Fi, two specialty dinings, $50 credit for passenger one. Passenger two does not get that $50 credit. So the total cost on that would be $172. That figure for the entire cruise is, if you read the terms and conditions in NCL, they add on a tip based on what they say the drink package is worth and the uh, specialty dining tips are worth. So that's what you're paying as a tip above and beyond those packages. It's still a really good deal because it sums up to be $950 worth of value in there. So they have the biggest of all the savings in there by getting their free at sea package of $780. They also have a few things I didn't include in here because it, there's no way to really assume it, which would be free airfare for passenger number two and passengers three and four get to travel for free. So if you have some kids, they get to come along, stay in the same room as you do for free. The next cruise line is Celebrity Cruises with their all-included package. Now, Celebrity does not advertise their 
per day rate for the all included. So we have to go back and drive it by looking at costs of booking it with and without and so forth. Until recently, it did include gratuities. However, now it doesn't. And the all included package, you get the classic drink package and the basic Wi-Fi internet package. The cost of that is $84 per day. I put in $126 per week for the gratuities. That works out to be $588 for the cost for the week. And then the value on that is $852. So the savings you would have by buying the all-included package is about $265. For the summary slide here, we list all the different cruise, all four cruise lines and the name of their package, their combo package that they offer, the cost per week, the total value, and then the savings down there at the bottom. You can see that the Princess and the Holland America come up pretty close to each other, which isn't surprising. They're both owned by Carnival Cruise Lines. Norwegian comes out the furthest ahead with $780 based on their free at sea. And Celebrity is in there at $265 savings by going with their all-included package. If we move into the key takeaways on this, for the most part, the bundles are a good deal for you if you use the products that are in it. If you drink and if you use the Wi-Fi, they're a good deal for you to include in our opinion. Watch out for bargains when booking. All in America and NCL will change on that website quite often what is included in these bundles when you book it, and some of them can be very substantial savings for you. So keep an eye on that. Celebrity and MSC cruises do not publish how much the bundles cost you per day. And that's one reason we didn't go down the path with MSC because I couldn't find any information on it. So just do your math when you're shopping around, see what you can find out with that. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, please give us a like and a subscribe and turn on those notifications. It really helps the algorithm find us. Until next time, have a cruising good time.